Hi, this is uh, Nick. I'm over here uh, working on, uh, once again, a sewer line that's uh, stopped up or clogged with Javier. Uh, this uh, homeowner, she had a, a company out here um, uh, constantly snaking the line, having problems uh, over and over. This, is, uh, this house was built in the uh, mid 40s. Uh, she had to move her father out of this house. Uh, he's 97 years old uh, because he was unable to uh, use the facilities in the house. So she got uh, our number from uh, a referral from one of her friends. And we came out here and we've located the line. Uh, and I want to see if I can take a picture. Javier, let me see this this line. I want I wanted to see this. And you look down there, you can see that there is a cast iron pipe coming out of the house, which most homes uh, that were built in the 40s and the 50s have cast iron under the house. And then right after the cast iron, you can see this uh, orange pipe, uh, which is basically um, terracotta. So. The way that they uh, connected the cast iron to the terracotta is by uh, uh, adding the sections of pipe and sealing it off with uh, cement, uh, which, you know, years later uh, were causing problems. Roots were growing through the, uh, through the cracks between the joints and their uh, people were having uh, uh, sewer backups. So what we're going to do right now, uh, we're going to go ahead and video that line and see what kind of issues uh, she's having. And then um, we'll take another video showing you uh, the camera in the line and hopefully we can come up to some kind of a solution on solving her problem, thank you. We're in College Park uh, cameraing this line that uh, this homeowner was having a problem with and we're gonna go through this cast iron uh, testy that's on the ground which is uh, common to houses that were built in the 40s and in the 50s. There is the screen right here. Go ahead, Javier, and stop feeding this camera. Uh, let's see what, uh, go slowly. As you can see, uh, this, this line here, okay, stop right there. You can see at the bottom of the screen, there is uh, one of the fittings here, and you can see a small amount of roots that are already starting to grow through it. Okay, let's keep going. Other than that, the line looks fairly clean. Keep going. We're really looking for a reason why this homeowner is having uh, backups on a, on a constantly, constant basis. fairly clean it's, it's good there's really no no bellies or any breaks that we can see so far uh, in the line there's another uh, small amount of roots right here that's that's coming into the line uh, nothing major you know fairly normal for, for a pipe in this age. Keep going, Javier, let's see. Uh... Coming up here, and okay, stop. So if you look right here, you can see a really large amount of roots coming at the bottom side of the screen. But the other thing that you can see is you can literally see a lip all the way around here. And, and an offset so if uh, the, as the house drains into towards the street uh, it, it, it would hit this lip right here on the on the pipe and uh, it will cause uh, it will cause stoppages see if you can uh, continue see if you can get the camera to go over that lip yeah let's keep going yeah there is another area here where you can see quite a bit of roots keep going And 
right here um, it's, it's probably uh, yeah we're completely submerged right here that that is the the major problem of this line right here and um, we're about 37 feet downstream so it looks like half of that pipe right here is holding water and see if you can put it through you might not be able to go through it but we're completely submerged right here so anyway um, based on this on this findings I would definitely recommend that the homeowner will get this line uh, replaced and uh, we were able to we were going to be able to put a, a PVC sewer main going all the way from the house all the way up uh, towards the street we showed you earlier uh, we're having problem with the terracotta piping uh, stuff backing up and uh, we've cameraed going through the street a little bit earlier and now we cut the old cast iron and the terracotta testy and uh, we're going to install a new clean out PVC and we're also going to go ahead and uh, uh, camera the line under the house to check the condition of the cast iron piping go ahead Javier This is, uh, you see here is a typical uh, old cast iron pipe. Okay, so over here, we got some sort of an obstruction here. And you can, as you can only see, there's a small little opening on the right side of the screen, but the rest of it is it appears to be blocked up and at this point I'm not sure if there is a if there's a hole there in the pipe um, or it just needs to be uh, cleared out the homeowner was informing us that another plumbing company was here a couple of days ago and already snaked the line but as you can see it's the line looks like it underneath the house is almost completely completely clogged uh, Javier, see if you can push through there, see if you can... Yeah, see there's, there's actually, the, there's, there's still stuff in this line. Yeah, it seems like you're just pushing through it. Yeah. So, Anyway, at this point, we're, we're going to uh, pull the camera back out and it looks like we're going to try to clear to this obstruction so we can continue videoing this line. We may have to re-jet it out from the clean out and uh, that once we install it downstream. Anyway, we'll, uh, we'll get back with you uh, a little bit later on. Thank you. Hi, this is Nick with Choice Plumbing. We're back at this house here in College Park. Uh, we just made our transition from the cast iron and terracotta on the other end to PVC. As you can see, we installed this uh, clean out in here for this homeowner. And we're going to cover this back up. Um, it's going to be uh, a few inches above ground, so if they never need to uh, access this line, They'll have the ability to do it fairly easy instead of that testy that was buried uh, a couple feet underneath it. Once we do that, we're going to go ahead and, and re-camera that line towards the street and see what we can find out. But this is a typical uh, transition installation from cast iron to PVC uh, and from PVC to terracotta on the other end. Thanks.